data at rest is very simply information that resides on uh, generally a physical media, whether it's a disk, a tape, a USB key, and it's, it's information that's not necessarily static, however, it doesn't change that much. This is opposed to data in flight. So data in flight meaning it's in motion over a network or it's changing very rapidly, uh, either in a storage area network, corporate network, or over the internet. So those are two very basic definitions. The reason that data at rest and the encryption of that data is so important for organizations today is we've really opened up access to information in an unprecedented way over the last dozen or so years. Today, uh, you have access as, a, let's say, as a salesperson via your handheld or your mobile phone or uh, in terms of accessing the information over the in, uh, internet. You have access to corporate confidential information like never before. Customer contacts, financial information, uh, marketing information, product release information. All of these things are very open and accessible to many, many people in an organization. Encryption becomes an imperative uh, around data at rest because uh, you never want things like a USB key ending up in the wrong hands. In the news and on, on television, story after story comes up about a USB key being left in a restaurant and national security uh, related information showing up in the wrong hands. Things like credit card information, health records, all being exposed. I mean, simple things like tape, which is the most common way to back up and archive information. If that data at rest, and that's a classic example of data at rest, if that's not encrypted, if I have the right software, I can take your tape with your backup, uh, and, and it could have financial information or private information of your, uh, for your customers, I can take that and I can read it. And if I have malicious intent, I can use that for my own purposes. And many governments today uh, around the world are mandating that when that happens, when private information gets out into the public, there's a legal obligation to make sure that you report that. So encryption is a way to prevent that happening, to prevent legal liability, to pre prevent very embarrassing uh, breaches of data, and to also ensure that intellectual property, uh, which today are, are very important company assets, are secure and kept in-house. If I look at the way encryption is moving, if we, if we compare 2004, where corporations said 7% of their data, according to a survey then, was being encrypted, fast forward that to 2008, 40% of companies are now participating in some sort of encryption, particularly as it relates to backup. And consistently, in survey after survey, uh, security of data is the most important topic as it relates to overall IT challenges. Encryption is very closely aligned to that because of all the reasons we've just talked about. And I've got to reiterate, when a company, whether it's a big company, a large enterprise, or a small corporation, embarks upon a security effort, it really can't be one that's only driven out of IT. It's got to be closely aligned, even at the board level or the CEO level, with the business objectives. So there, there has to be a mandate and a process and a charter, if you will, at the board level to say, here is our security strategy, and IT has to be aligned to that in order to execute it. And encryption is a, is a very tactical example of how that business and IT alignment has to be in sync.